Bondi Junction is an eastern suburb of Sydney in New South Wales, Australia. It has undergone many changes since the 20th century, including major commercial and residential developments, and a large area of parklands that accommodate major sport and cultural activities. Bondi is an Aboriginal word meaning water breaking over rocks. The site is located on Gadigal land. Coastal areas are not only the most desirable place for humans to live, ecosystems along the coast uninhabited by humans are rich in biodiversity. However, we have dominated some areas with large-scale development and other species have had to adapt or move away. The loss of species and entire ecological communities in human population centres and their surrounding landscapes is immense, and the underlying cause can be easily identified. Natural habitats are replaced directly by houses, apartment buildings and shopping malls, as well as by the streets, highways and utilities that support them. Due to their location, coastal cities still contain a significant amount of threatened species richness, but not nearly as much as they potentially could. The development of heavily urbanised areas such as Bondi Junction is an example of this, but there is an opportunity to make the area more equitable for a wider variety of species, with considered planning of future development. My project focuses on increasing both the environmental sustainability and urban sustainability within the Bondi Junction area. These two concepts are integrated so that they will coexist, benefiting both humans and the natural environment simultaneously. Specifically, this project aims to focus on species conservation, biocorridor networks and condensing the city to create more space for natural landscape and at the same time create better use of public space in urbanised areas. Through increasing the quality of public space, there is also an opportunity to encourage safe and enjoyable active transport. Also, shifting the focus to sports that are more suitable to an urban context, such as bike riding, skateboarding, mini golf, basketball and netball, will hopefully increase the variety of demographics that are accessing sport facilities in the area. Fragmentation and isolation of natural habitats caused by urban development is a threat to biodiversity, and mending this fragmentation through creating new biocorridor networks between existing large-scale ecosystems is the main focus of this project. This will be achieved starting with a number of small scale urban and environmental interventions that increase in scale with time. To begin, there are a number of laneways in the residential area of Bondi Junction, as well as a large amount of underutilized public space surrounding the Westfield. Populating these areas with native species will start to increase visibility and connection to the natural landscape and strengthen the existing native ecosystem. This will also help to reduce urban heat within the area. Oxford Street is currently close to traffic between the intersections of Newland Street and Bronte Road. Extending this closure along its full length could be an opportunity to develop a safe pedestrian focused street, directly connecting Westfield to Centennial Park. This space can also be developed to recreate a mall focused on experience and connection rather than consumerism. The next step is to start relocating park facilities into underutilised space within the city, increasing the area available for wild ecosystems. To start with, the tennis courts in Cooper Park can easily be relocated to the Westfield rooftop, which leaves Cooper Park an already established wild area, largely untouched by humans. Over time, Westfield will become more of a sport and cultural centre, as activities from Centennial and Waverley Parks move into the Westfield structure and underutilised public spaces surrounding it, like Grafton Street and beneath Sid Einfeld Drive. As the parks are gradually closed off from human activities, rewilding programs can occur to repopulate the area with wildlife. The plan is to focus on a single species at first, the grey-headed flying fox, and then expand the program to incorporate more species in the future. Bats sometimes carry a bad reputation, but they are not threatening until we destroy their habitat or have unnecessary close contact through hunting them or keeping them in captivity. They are endemic to southeastern Australia and are listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. 
They are a good pilot species because they are adaptable to different environments and have ecological benefits such as pest suppression, pollination and seed dispersal. This makes them a great tool for establishing forests and fast-tracking their growth. Due to habitat loss, there are increasing numbers of flying fox camps appearing in urban areas, including a camp currently in Centennial Park. As human activities are relocated away from the park, bat camps can be encouraged through providing some short-term roost structures and including night-centred plants while encouraging new vegetation to grow. The next phase will include the closure of Sid Einfeld Drive to traffic, so it can eventually serve as a valuable bio-corridor between Centennial Park, Waverley Park and the Bondi Coast. Every five years, one lane will close so that by 2050, there will be no vehicle access. A small pathway could remain for pedestrian and bike access. As the reliance on petrol fueled vehicle transport declines over the next few decades, this could be implemented along roads and highways that may not be necessary in future. Hopefully by the year 2200, we will have established a bio-corridor network of young native forests through Greater Sydney that connects the Royal National Park to the south, the Kurungai Chase National Park to the north and the Blue Mountains to the west. And at the same time, reconfigure our urban spaces to be used in a more efficient and socially sustainable way.